Hey, look, they got me. Hey, y'all. Road check 2021, part two, day two. When I was here yesterday talking about road check, well, I videoed it yesterday. Today's Wednesday, day two of road check. I am at the rest area just east of Abilene, and it's about the same time of night that I talked to you yesterday, but I was about 40, 50 miles further east. And the reason for that is, it took about 45 minutes to do an inspection on me today coming out. Yeah, I told you yesterday that all the way out to Stanton and then all the way back to where I was, I didn't even see any DOT cars, let alone a place where they had people pulled in. And that held true all the way back into Dallas last night. But coming out, about an hour from the yard, it's a little picnic, the old abandoned picnic area just west of Weatherford. They're pulling people in. It's going along. Looked up on the hill to the right. There was a DOT car. And of course, I had placards on. And that's a big target in Texas anyway for getting DOT anyways. So as I passed him, washed my mirrors, came on out behind me, came up beside me and just motioned to follow him. So I followed him into that old picnic area and they did an old level one inspection on me and my truck. It actually took longer to do the, ins uh, to do the paperwork than it did to do the inspection. It's pretty, pretty simple. I pulled up, they told me set the brakes and they chalked the wheel and they told me to shut it off, release the brakes, come out and pop the hood. So they looked under the hood, but I don't think they really paid a whole lot of attention to conditions under the hood, belts, things like that. It's a fairly new truck. They probably just glanced at it, could tell that it was in good shape. But what they really checked on the whole truck were the brakes. They had me push and hold the brakes. They checked the travel of the brake adjustment on the steer axle, the drive, both trailers and the dolly. They checked them all. Then set the brakes, close the hood, time for the light check. Now that's what they're really concentrating on this year, supposedly. Lights, logs, things like that. Checked all my lights, my windshield wipers, he said he didn't have to check the horn because on this truck, if you have the brakes released and you open the door, the horn goes crazy. So he said, we know the horn works when they were, when I had to get out and open the hood with the brakes released. But they checked all the lights, turn signals, brakes. They didn't check the reverse lights. They didn't check that. Uh, wipers, all that. Then he came back up. He said, okay, so far everything looks really good. He asked me which ELD I used. I told him he'd never heard of it. He wanted to see if I had the instruction booklet, which you're supposed to have the instruction booklet and a, a paper log that you can use in case your ELD goes down. He didn't ask to see that. It was in there, but I, he didn't ask to see that. He just wanted to see the packet of the uh, instruction book. Then he wanted to see my permit package with all the registrations and certificates, hazmat certifications for the truck and everything, all like that. He took that, my driver's license, and all my bills. And this is what took the longest. He went back to his car. I went to Facebook. 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes later, he came back. Oh, and one more thing else he did with the Venomics was gave me a code and had me transmit my logs to him. I didn't use email. There's another way, there's two ways to do it. So he had me do it that way, and he said it all went through, which I've never had to do before since we've had these. And he said it all went through. All the paperwork looked good. Everything was fine. No violations, which is good. Level one, no violations. Maybe I'll get a, get a gift certificate or something from him. From Zaya, I don't know. 
The only bummer about the whole thing and getting no violations on a level one is usually they give you a little sticker, CVSA sticker to put up on your windshield and on the trailers so you don't get bothered for like a month. They were out of stickers. <laughs> so he said he, Marty, noted it on the form that he gave back to me. No CFA, CVSA stickers available. So I got that. I'll carry that around with me for a while. So that's day two of Road Check 2021. Got one more day. I got to get back into Dallas. I should be okay since they inspected me today. Who knows what's happening tomorrow? See if they'll still be set up at the same place. I don't know. But that's my experience for day two. Go down in the description, check out all my links. I, I'll put a link to yesterday's video down in there too. Check that out. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the alarm notification so you'll know when I get drop videos and make them public. Like this video for me. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time.